the Australian Window Association and the New South Wales Office of Environment and Heritage through the Environmental Trust present Australian Fenestration and Energy Efficiency, what it means to me. Energy plays an important part in day-to-day -day living. From the high costs everyone pays for it to the role it plays in providing comfortable indoor climate levels throughout the year. Builders can increase their market competitiveness by providing guidance, information and suggestions regarding energy efficient windows and doors to their customers and their potential impact on their energy bills. Windows are often called the thermal wounds in a building because during cold weather interior heating can be lost through them and in summer heat can enter counteracting the cooling effect of air conditioning. This means that selecting windows that reduce these gains and losses of heat is really important for saving money on energy bills and increasing comfort in a high quality home. We'll show you how this can be achieved in new homes and also for existing homes. In addition to the careful selection of windows, their performance is also dependent on high quality installation as the performance of even the most efficient windows can be compromised if they're not installed correctly. Energy efficiency levels for new homes are compulsory all around Australia. They call for particular energy values for windows. The window selected must meet the rating stated in a NATHERS, which is the National House Energy Rating Scheme Energy Report, a BASICS report in New South Wales or another approved method. Where there is a range permitted for the ratings, it will be shown on this report. The terms that are used to describe energy efficiency in these reports are the solar heat gain coefficient and new value. The solar heat gain coefficient, or SHGC, is a measure of the amount of heat from the sun that passes through a window. When sunlight strikes a window, some of the heat bounces off, some of the heat is absorbed by the window and the rest passes through to the inside. Some of that absorbed heat can also pass through. The SHGC is scientifically calculated as the percentage of solar heat that enters for the whole window. It is given as a number from 0 to 1. The SHGC of 0 means that no heat passes through the window, while an SHGC of 1 means that 100% of the heat passes through. So for example, an SHGC of 0 0.7 means that 70% passes through, and 0 0.3 would represent 30% of the solar heat passing through the window. In a cool region, a high SHGC allows more heat to enter, letting the sun provide additional warmth, and in a hot region, a lower SHGC allows less heat in, thus keeping the inside cooler. The SHGC value that must be met is based on several factors, including whether the region is considered hot or cold, or somewhere in between. The energy report will show what tolerance, if any, is allowed for the SHGC value of the windows used. The effect of heating or air conditioning can be severely reduced if heat is lost or gained through windows. The movement of heat or cold through the entire window by conduction, radiation and convection is given as a U value. A high U value means that the window will be a poor insulator and a low U value means that the heat and cold doesn't move well through the window making it a good insulator. A low U value will always mean the internal heating or cooling air conditioning is not lost. So it follows that a low U value is always the best. Energy reports always require a U value that is the same or lower than the U value shown in the report. Next time you're in a supermarket, try this to experience the effect of heat transfer. In the freezer section, place your hand on the outside of the freezer door. Then open the door and feel the inside. You will notice a huge change in temperature. That's because the freezer door is a good insulator and would therefore have a low U value. It's important to understand that both the SHGC and the U-value requirements are for the entire window, not just for the glass or the frame. Guiding customers to purchase more energy efficient windows and doors means that a builder can advertise that they build homes with reduced ongoing energy costs. When a builder is purchasing windows, it is vital that they select them based on the energy efficiency requirements shown in the energy report. These values are mandated to ensure customers get a comfortable home. In addition to the SHGC and new value of a window, there are other factors that can affect energy efficiency. These factors include visible light transmission, orientation, shading, glazing and installation. 
These are important factors when building a new home, doing renovations or simply replacing old windows. The amount of light that comes in through a window is called the visible transmission of light or the VT. It is important because of the amount of natural light in a room during daylight will determine whether or not it is necessary to turn on lights. Not needing to turn on lights is an easy way to reduce energy consumption. VT is given in the same way as the SHGC, a number between 0 and 1 with a VT of 1 allowing all available light through. A 0.75 means that 75% of the light is allowed through the window and 0 allows no light through. This is important when there is a lot of sun as a lower VT also means that the SHGC is reduced. Orientation is the direction that the house faces. Achieving a good orientation at the design stage can provide energy efficiency benefits in both summer and winter, providing higher comfort levels and lower costs for the homeowner. This diagram shows a house facing north. The way the sun moves during summer and winter can create shading or solar heat gain. In winter the sun's path is very low and it rises north of east and sets north of west. This means that the low angle of the sun allows direct sunlight into the house providing passive solar heat gains. During summer the sun is much higher in the sky. If a house has wide eaves on the northern side it will provide shading and prevent direct sunlight from entering. Builders can encourage their clients to consider that ideally a house, other than the house in the tropical north, that needs the heat from the sun in winter but not in the summer, should be designed so that the north facing windows are maximised as this orientation, together with shading, allows the sun to stream in in winter but keeps the sun out in summer. This is achieved by shading using white eaves, deciduous plantings and covered decks to prevent entry of the summer sun but allow the sun in during winter to naturally warm the interior. This reduces the heating and cooling needs. In most cases, west facing windows should be minimised or externally shaded as the western sun is particularly strong. However, the house will also have a high level of heat exposure for the eastern as well as the western windows during the hottest months of the year because the sun will be more southerly. So consideration to shading or minimising the number of windows in both directions is needed. North of the Tropic of Capricorn the sun is in the south during summer, so shading for southern windows is also needed to keep out the hot summer sun. Shading is important. Options can include fitting external awnings, pergolas and even simply growing a tree to shade the window. Plant an evergreen for permanent shading or a deciduous tree to provide summer shading while allowing in the winter sun. Orientation for a new house begins with land selection and continues with the way the house is placed. Renovations provide opportunities to increase the window energy efficiency. This can be by replacing existing windows with more efficient ones, including the use of double glazing and energy efficient glass, considering shading requirements using white eaves, roofing over decks and pergolas, and changing around room usages to put the living areas facing north. This can be a great suggestion when discussing renovations with customers. The glass that is used in windows makes up only a part of the window's energy efficiency, but changing the glass can be a solution when looking for retrofit options to increase efficiency. For example, exchanging clear glass for tinted or toned glass will reduce the SHGC but does not affect the U value. Energy efficient laminated glass can also be used. Low emissivity glass is usually called low E. It is glass that has been coated with a thin metallic layer. It can enhance the efficiency of windows in both hot and cold climates by providing a lower U value and appropriate SHGC for the home using single glazing if that is the only option available. Low E can be used as a single pane of glass or even multiple glass layers in double or triple glazing that use multiple panes of glass with a gap between each plane. The gap between the panes for the best energy efficiency outcome is 12 millimetres. These are sealed units and often have a gas in the space. The glass that is used in these sealed units, for example, low E, can further enhance the overall energy efficiency. In nearly every case, energy efficient sealed, double glazed units will provide additional comfort and lower ongoing heating and cooling costs, so that they are an excellent choice for new homes. While replacing existing glass with double glazed units can be effective, not all existing windows are able to accommodate them. 
If consumers are intending to replace existing windows, a savvy builder should determine the available options to them. Offer the most energy efficient windows that are suitable for the home and the location. It pays the consumer to invest in the best options as it will provide an additional level of comfort in a home and also reduce energy bills. There are also energy efficient films available that can reduce the amount of heat that enters from the outside as well as reducing heat loss during winter. Energy efficient films are energy rated in the same way as windows and are an excellent option for existing windows. While new windows must comply with the energy requirements, their efficiency can be severely compromised by poor installation. Consumers should always choose a reputable window installer. One problem that can happen with incorrect window installation is windows put into the wrong openings. Windows and door performance requirements vary even in a single dwelling. The installer needs to check and double check that the right window or door is going into the specific opening it has been selected for. This is particularly important when installing energy efficient and acoustic windows. The energy performance requirements for this south facing window will be very different to the performance requirement of the west facing windows. Incorrect placement into the building envelope can turn an energy efficient building into an inefficient one. Another problem can be glass or even fixed windows installed inside out. The coating that is used in low E windows is difficult to see, but the glass must be installed correctly as the location of the coating within the window is crucial. In this installation, the four fixed windows have been installed the wrong way around. Acoustic windows also need to be installed in the correct position and orientation. Windows must be sealed properly into the structure by following the window manufacturer's instructions or following industry best practice. A homeowner can't tell if installation has been done correctly until they begin living in the house. Indications of poor installation include dampness and mould around the window, wind whistling through them and for double glazed units, condensation. Quality window installation means that these issues won't arise so there will be no need for remedial work. The comfort of a home is all important. It means that, no matter what the weather, the inside is just the right temperature. There is sufficient daylight and fresh air circulating when needed and there is minimal need for additional heating and cooling. Energy efficient windows go a long way in providing that comfort. Builders who are energy efficient smart can advertise that they can provide the best possible energy outcome for consumers. This project has been funded by the New South Wales Office of Environment and Heritage through the Environmental Trust. For more information, visit awa.org.au, wurs.net or efficientglazing.net. Videos on window and door installation are available on the Australian Window Association YouTube channel. Recommended reading is Your Home, Australia's Guide to Environmentally Sustainable Homes that is available to view or download from www.yourhome.gov.au.